You know how cars have ABS saved countless lives and been operating quiet in the background with maybe you not even knowing it? This Risa Muller bike has got, get this, ABS. I kid you not. In particular, it's actually got a whole suite of Bosch e-bike systems, the connected flow thing, whatever they call it. So in this video, I'm gonna detail exactly that tech behind this bike and what's great about it, what could maybe be better, and uh, yeah, whether or not I can actually make this thing skid. G'day and welcome, my name's Chris and I cover everything electric like electric bikes, scooters, electric vehicles and more from an Aussie perspective. If you're new here, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. So I picked up this recent Muller bike from Spark in North Melbourne and I've been riding it for a week. And you know how like, cars you've got, well, cheap versus expensive, Toyota versus Lexus, or better example, uh, Tesla versus BYD. This is the top of the range sort of bike that you can be buying. And people who know the brand will be looking at this and going, oh please, I'd love that bike. Yeah, so I'm gonna save the bombshell of how much this actually costs for the end of the video. What is gonna be about the bike is actually more focused on the Bosch systems integrated into it. And that's because Bosch has made this video possible, but as per usual, they've got no editorial control. They haven't paid me to say any of this, and they're seeing it for the first time just like you are. So knowing all that, all right, let's look into some of the specs of the bike because they are pretty damn impressive. First up, the battery. This is a 750 watt hour battery, and this little thing, that's 250 watt hours. So that's a thousand watt hours of energy. In this week I've had it, I haven't had to recharge it at all, and uh, I'm just not sure what sort of range this thing has got. I've been working in the uh, lazy, <coughs> really assisted mode, and um, I reckon easily 100 kilometers, for me, <laughs> your, yours will vary. Down here, there's a Rolf E-Shift gear system. That means I change the gears through this, and there's 14 of them, and uh, it's, it's electronic. So it shouldn't derail because it's got a carbon belt drive system. And uh, that's supposedly really good. Oh, and another thing I almost forgot, it's got an automatic e-shift down. Like, you know, like what you get on fancy motorbikes? It's got it too. And what else? We've got like 27.5 inch wheels. Uh, it's got suspension, LED lights all around, including when you brake, the brake lights go on. So that's super impressive. And uh, just, yeah, it's a, uh, remember, I am bike. But this video is gonna be more about the Bosch system. So yeah, let's talk about them, shall we? So the first thing I love about this Bosch e-bike connected sort of flow system, it's probably a better way of saying that, but just go with me, is that you've got different modes. And I kid you not, I can actually cycle through here. Turbo, sport, auto, eco, and a myriad of others, and you actually customize what you want to have on the bike ready available to you through the app. And I think this is where kind of the magic of this happens because have you ever had like, uh, I don't know, any e-bike or other scooter, like check out this one I've reviewed. The apps that come with them, they're by third party providers and they're actually pretty mediocre and they're not really designed for the entire bike. Like this, this Bosch system knows the bike you've got, the wheel size you got and everything about it. And that's really amazing because that means you can do a lot of really awesome things through the app with the bike in tandem. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there, <laughs> stay with me. Like for example, you can customize Eco Plus mode whereby think about flat terrain or going down hills, it won't actually engage the motors and you've got to do the work, right? But you can actually vary that. So if you've got better fitness, yeah, you, you can do less. Or you've got maybe worse fitness or bad news like me. You can do more, but nonetheless, that's gonna preserve the battery. There's many other things that happen with this bike that are around, you know, not only the battery management, but also bike security, range planning, range planning, route planning, and a lot more. So uh, let's delve into them. One of the first features is e-bike lock. And basically what it does is when you turn the bike on, 
it's going to check that your mobile phone is with you and you can select maybe uh, it's going to be you can take the little display here off and on the bike as well so if this bike should get moved or even let's say stolen and neither that or your phone one or the other or both is actually not there you get a notification and you're like well you can log it you can see the trip see where the bike is and all that really cool stuff now mind you this is a paid thing so there's going to be some hardware put on by your dealer and then you've got to pay for that subscription for this you know to be a thing but i would imagine if you're spending this much money on this sort of bike i would too Now the next really awesome thing, and to encourage people to actually use the app, because more often than not, I've experienced where you don't bother, you're like, well, what does the app really do? Nothing. You don't use it. But with this, I highly recommend you do, because it's actually got some route planning systems with AI. And we all know, we hear that term, we think, hmm, you know, my Garmin from 1990 was able to tell me what time I might get somewhere. It's just math, Chris, but no, no, this is actually quite intelligent. So you enter where you want to go from and to, say, say from here, I want to go to a friend's place and we'll go to lunch and we'll come back here. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, so we'll just say somewhere really random in North Melbourne and uh, let's choose something a little bit far away. I don't know. That's the best one there. 1.9 kilometers. All right, to the rail station. That's what I've done before. I don't know what I've been doing. So that's awesome and all. Now you notice on the screen here, there's three different icons. The first one is basically, well, this is a nice ride to do. It's a little bit variable. You might have some uh, different terrain, different slopes and nice and stuff like that. The next one over is actually, hey, take me there the quickest way possible. I'm just commuting or maybe I'm doing like uh, Uber Eats and I'm delivering stuff. This is going to be for you, yeah? But the last one and the amazing one is this urban... Uh, motor uh, mountain bike thing, EMC, I think it's called, is the acronym. Yeah, I'm certain I got that right. If not, I'm putting it on the screen now. And this is going to, where possible, include as much hilly terrain, off-road, thing dirt, gravel, stuff that I don't want to do, but you could if you want to. And the amazing thing about this AI stuff, right, because, hey, you could maybe get this through Google Maps, probably not, but you could. Um, it actually learns what your riding style is. And then on future trips, if you keep on doing that commute to and from work and there's a different way you can take, this can actually offer up different vari variable ways of doing it. So you're going to have some different experiences riding your bike, which to me makes it a lot more fun. Yeah, and I think that's a great little feature. Now for the next really cool feature, and that is range control. So let's say, yeah, you're doing this trip from here, North Melbourne, back to home, and then to work. I don't know, something really mad like that. Um, you can actually say, I want to use a range control so that I arrive with enough battery to do that trip. It's pretty amazing, and it's going to base it upon the terrain, uh, how you actually ride the bike, and it's going to change the riding mode and the amount of assistance you get through the app and the bike and all that. Again, it's, the, it's that integrated sort of system that Bosch is actually providing here. And can I just say one thing? Notice how on this display, there's actually two different versions, like a 300 and a 500. I'll put the exact names on the screen now. It's just a size, by the way. Um, it's actually showing me where I need to go for those turn-by-turn -turn instructions to get to that place. And uh, other bikes or, you know, with those apps you can get, you have to sort of mount your bike here. And you can do it on this one. And some people prefer that bigger full screen experience and being able to control the phone calls and do other stuff while riding. Uh, it's actually here on this. And I, I thought to myself when I didn't know this, by the way, that it'd be um, this bike should actually come with a phone mount, but it's in there. So there you go. All right, now for the really cool bit. I'm gonna jump on this bike and I'm gonna do a lap over there, that oval. I'm gonna to try to activate ABS, well, you know, to get the bike to skid. It shouldn't be able to skid, but I reckon those tires, and it's, it's only a little bit damp, I'm not gonna be able to do this, but I'm gonna give it a good hot go.
<laughs> okay. I have tried to get this thing to skid and it's not working. Okay, I've come to my longtime friend Jen's place and I'm gonna ask her how much she reckons this bike is. So, um, Jen, how much do you reckon this is? Well, it looks very fancy, so I'm gonna go with 1500. Okay, that's, that's funny, it's not even close. <laughs> okay, just, just wait a second. Okay, um, so, uh, 1500 eh? Well, I don't know, looking at your face, I'm reconsidering. And I've not had enough, like lots of time to uh, consider this, but um, I'm guessing it's not 1500. Higher. 2000. Higher. 3000. Much, much higher. 7000. Double it. $40,000? <laughs> That's the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, it's very fancy. Yes, yes. And, and actually, because this has got everything, including like the panniers and the, you know, the carry, the cargo and the extra battery, it's actually over $15,000. <laughs> I'm sure if you spent that amount on it, you would not be, I mean, you would get your money's worth as long as you used it and it didn't just stay in the garage. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like for some people, this is, a, this is their car. So, I've yeah. got a great bike. It's just uh, sitting in the garage, not being used. So uh -huh. if you get one of these, don't do that. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Thanks, no worries. <laughs> okay, so look, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you found it entertaining. It was a lot of fun to make. And thanks to Bosch and also, I guess, yeah, uh, Spark for making this video possible. Uh, it's, a, it's a premium bike and yeah, that price is shocking. But nonetheless, I think um, if you're trying to do better for yourself, the environment and minimize that impact on this world, riding a bike is actually a really good thing to be doing. So check it out. There's plenty of other, plenty of other e-bikes out there and I'm not sure Bosch actually uh, provide for them. I'm pretty certain they do, just like your car, your dishwasher, Bosch and everything, including electric vehicle chargers. So um, yeah, it's a uh, pretty amazing stuff. And as per usual, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, that helps. Um, what else? Share it to your friends who might want to learn about this. Think about Kofi for behind the scenes and stuff you don't get here, or maybe even super thanks. Oh, all those things are really appreciated. Otherwise, you'll be good and you'll be green. <laughs>